Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your buddy Rob Molina, Pun Perfector, Toy Collector. Uh, welcome back as always. But before we get into anything else, I'd like to say that anyone under the age of 13 should not view this channel since it's intended for adult collectibles and adult collectors. But as always, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. <laughs> channel it's your buddy Rob Molina, Pun Perfector, Toy Collector. Uh, so in today's episode I will uh, unveil and unbox and show you guys uh, something very cool that I was able to get a little while back. Uh, so uh, of course with like most of my collectibles I you know pick them up, I purchase them and then I proceed to leave them in the box for a little while until I'm able to you know show them to you guys. So you know I sort of like practice being very patient and you know practice you know sort of like containing myself because I do want to open these things and I do want to show them to you guys as soon as possible but sometimes you know life just sort of gets in the way uh, but of course you know we have the time we're gonna do it today we're gonna to show you guys hopefully you enjoy it so yeah let's do it guys so of course um, as you guys can see this is Rimuru from the series at that time that I got reincarnated as a slime uh, so it's an anime that came out uh, I would say the beginning of uh, the spring last year, so 2019, and when I, uh, you know, uh, you know, was exposed to the show, and when I uh, found out about the show, it was, uh, I would say, uh, you know, I guess, you know, fall of 2019. So, uh, you know, I was kind of like behind the, you know, behind the times, I guess. You know, I hadn't realized how good of a show this was. Uh, you know, I just hadn't given it a chance. But of course, when I did give it a chance, I definitely, I uh, was excited uh, that I did. You know, get to see it, get to watch it. I did binge watch the crap out of it, and of course enjoyed every second of it. Uh, of course, um, you know Rimuru is one of the uh, the main protagonists in the show, so definitely uh, the main character. And uh, of course, in the show, um, you know the first time you meet Rimuru, uh, you meet Rimuru as a slime. So Rimuru uh, at the beginning, sort of insignificant, uh, sort of no real. Uh, identifiable uh, powers or anything you know that would make it like an awesome character but of course uh, you know the slime you know uh, throughout the show you know gets to uh, basically stagger and sort of accumulate many abilities uh, throughout the show uh, throughout the first arc of the season and uh, of course you know anytime he does uh, face an opponent anytime he does kill a creature anytime he does take down a would-be bad guy uh, he's able to sort of assimilate and take that person's skill set and make it his own so um, I guess with Rimro you know his ability to become stronger and stronger is unlimited uh, so very cool you know I mean obviously you know uh, Rimro is you know insignificant at first and then becomes very uh, significant throughout the first uh, arc uh, and um, yeah you get to see you know the development of the character and it's cool, uh, but of course, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, Nendoroid is, uh, what, 1067 in the line of Nendoroids. So I guess, you know, uh, Nendoroids have eclipsed the 1000 mark. So now there's at least 1067 of these, if not many more already. So they're probably up to 1100, God knows what at this point. Uh, but the beautiful thing about these, uh, you know, Nendoroids is the fact that you get so much stuff uh, with them. Uh, they come with a ton of extra uh, you know, um, accessories, they come with weapons, they come with uh, sort of uh, backdrops, they come with uh, things that sort of pertain to them in the series. Uh, so I like the fact that, you know, Good Smile uh, Company or Nendoroids have that, you know, unique ability to uh, sort of, you know, take a, a simple, you know, mold, a simple toy, a simple collectible and make it pretty unique uh, just because they add so much stuff to it. Uh, so very cool in that sense, but of course, as always, these things are always packaged just fine. You know, they come in securely protected. Of course, you have the plastic uh, covering both the back and the front. And uh, yeah, it's just a great, uh, great thing on their part that they, uh, you know, take the time to package these ever so carefully. And as you guys can see, without dropping anything, you know, this is what you get. Uh, so uh, I'll take out Rimru first, and then I'll show you everything else. So, you can just put Rimuru down ever so carefully. And as you guys 
can see, Remaru looks fantastic. So of course Remaru has this bluish sort of hair. Uh, love the paint uh, application on this. You know, it's got, you know, sort of like the, you know, pastel blue color, like a lighter blue color, and then it sort of fades off into the darker blues, uh, you know, where the bangs are, where his bangs would be. And of course, you see that kind of applied throughout the rest of the paint, um, you know, on his head. And that's a nice feature. And of course, you know, the face looks awesome. It looks, you know, flawless in every way. You know, I love the fact that, you know, a good smile company puts so much uh, emphasis on the face. Uh, it looks just like the character itself in the show. And, you know, the, the mold itself is fantastic in every way. Uh, I don't see anything that, you know, looks out of place, looks out of whack, it looks very nice. And of course, you know, we've got the wings, the dragon wings uh, on the side, or on his back. And you can, you know, you know, basically, you know, change the position of the wings. You can flap them a little higher, flap them a little lower. So that's very cool. Of course, you know, he's got this uh, sort of uh, scarf, you know, around his neck. So I like that touch as well. Of course, you know, he's got his blue jacket, of course, his black pants. And of course, he's got the blue boots that sort of match ever so nicely with his, uh, you know, blue trench coat. Uh, so awesome, awesome touch. So I love that, you know, good smile always knocks it out of the park with these nendoroids. Uh, and of course, uh, with most nendoroids, you do get multiple, you know, face plates. So you get different uh, sort of um, looks. So with this one, it's more of a intense sort of look, um, you know, definitely, you know, definitely means business in this particular face mold. So I like that. The intensity is ramped up with that one, whereas with the normal face mold, it's just remember smiling. And of course, uh, this one, you know, is a different sort of, uh, you know, emotion. So of course, with this one, it looks like pure delight, pure joy, you know, just pure ecstasy. So obviously, you know, very nice touch with that. So like the fact that you, I like the fact that you can swap out uh, facial features. Very cool. The face plates uh, definitely add an extra layer of uh, coolness to these things. And of course, um, you know, typically Remu does carry around a uh, you know a sword. Uh, so of course you have one sword that's out of the sheath. So I like that. You know, the sword looks fantastic. It looks phenomenal. The paint on this looks very good. You know, I love the details. You know. Um, on the sword itself, and of course, you have another sword that's in its uh, sheath. So nice touch, nice touch. And of course, as you guys can see, it has like these little tabs on the side. So you know you could, you know, potentially have Rimuru holding one sword in one hand, and then of course, having the other sword, you know, by his side. So if he does need to take out another sword, then he's able to, uh, yeah, then he's able to, uh, you know, sort of uh, take out two of them and slice you up and dice you up. So, a very cool touch, I like that, I like that. Um, and of course, you know, the coolest thing about this, or one of the coolest things about, you know, getting this Rimuru is the fact that you get Rimuru in slime form, so, let me see if I can take this out so carefully, so, yes, this is one very cool feature. So, as you guys can see, this is what Rimuru looks like when he's not in his humanoid or human-like form. So, of course, he's just like this like little blue blob, this little blue slime. And, of course, uh, you know, in this particular uh, paint scheme, you know, he looks like he's sleeping. Uh, typically, when Rimuru uh, exhausts his power or exhausts his, um, you know, magic or, his, you know, magical prowess, uh, you know, he basically has to uh, sort of hibernate sort of sleep for a while. So he has to sleep for, I think, maybe like 12 hours or eight hours until he's able to sort of recuperate his aura, his his magic, and then he's able to sort of like be, you know, Rimuru again. Uh, but yeah, that's a very cool little feature. I love that. This thing is cute, very nice. Um, a nice little feature is the mask. Um, without giving away too much, uh, this mask is given to him by a friend uh, in the first season, uh, by Shizu, Izawa, Izawa, I'm sorry, and, uh, of course, this mask, uh, you know, has the ability to sort of suppress, uh, 
magical aura or uh, in the show you know other creatures are able to sort of uh, kind of figure out how some how potentially strong somebody else can be uh, in the show or can't be so with this you know uh, you know Rimuru was able to sort of suppress that aura that sort of magic that he naturally sort of exudes uh, throughout the show so uh, you know he's able to walk up you know somebody you know without you know them sort of like sensing like oh yeah this guy is a badass or this guy can definitely you know kick ass so very cool touch that this was added uh to the to the uh, box of accessories so very cool can't wait to see that can't wait to show that off and of course uh in the show one of his abilities is that of uh you know flame uh to use fire uh so of course um one of the first abilities he acquires is uh you know sort of this flame ability so uh in the show without giving away too much he um basically devours another demon uh a fire demon and sort of soon after that is able to sort of wield that ability and use that ability as his own so very cool touch i like that so yeah like i said i don't want to give away too many spoilers i want you guys to enjoy the show experience the show uh just the same way i did uh but yeah guys um what can I say? I'm a fan of these Nendoroids. You know, I definitely enjoy uh, having having them in my collection. Um, I know they're a little pricier than a Funko Pop, or, or you know, definitely more expensive than most uh, statues or figures. Uh, but they're cute. They're awesome. They're nice. Uh, they're just you know, the fact that you can sort of pose them in you know a thousand different ways, and that you know you can sort of like have them interact with other Nendoroids. Uh, you know, which is what I'll definitely do uh, because. If you guys did not notice in a previous vid, I do have um, Milam Nava and Rimuru now as you know my Nendoroids. Uh, so I have I think like seven Nendoroids now. So my you know, collection is growing, uh, you know, leaps and bounds over like the last couple of months. But of course now you have you know the main protagonist, and now you have Rimuru's you know supposed best friend in the show. So uh, very cool to have. Can't wait to pose these two together and can't wait to you know sort of show them to you guys on instagram uh so yeah guys if you could you know just comment down below what you thought of my latest uh toy pickup my last my latest collectible uh you know pickup purchase uh so yeah uh if you could yeah just drop a comment drop a like you know tell me what you thought you know i'd like to know you know as always you know what you guys you know, watch as far as, you know, uh, you know, an anime series goes or, or what you're collecting. Uh, so definitely drop that uh, comment, drop those comments down below. I love interacting with you guys at all times. Uh, but of course, as always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for just being uh, fantastic uh, viewers, fantastic, uh, you know, friends. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next toy vid. All right, guys. See ya. Thank you.